So I'm Dr Ben Moat from the National Oceanography Centre here in Southampton in the UK and I'm a senior uh, scientist. I go actually go out into the field, I go on ships, actually make measurements in the deep ocean and I also use models as well, uh, these big climate, coupled climate models. Um, because if we go out on a ship we can measure something now but we can't measure it in the past and we can't understand it in the future. So we need these coupled climate models as well to try and predict and understand how our changing climate and our changing oceans uh, will, will affect society. So I always had an interest in sort of fluid dynamics and the ocean. So I did a first degree in mathematics. I then uh, came to work at the National Oceanography Centre or the Southampton Oceanography Centre as it was then uh, and work actually paid for me to do a PhD part-time. So I did this at the University of Southampton School of Engineering and that PhD was in uh, how, how the uh, ocean and the atmosphere interact. The North Atlantic is a very, very active place in terms of oceanography. You know, a lot of the excess heat is going into the, into the North Atlantic as well as the uh, excess carbon that's in the atmosphere. And the oceans are warming, so a warming ocean, changing ocean currents, these interact with the atmosphere and that can directly affect um, Europe's uh, climate and possibly even its weather you know, on, on a year-to-year -year basis. I study mainly the North Atlantic and the North Atlantic is a very significant place in terms of the oceans are heating, uh, are warming, um, the atmosphere is warming, most of that heat is going into the ocean. Ocean currents, uh, they change in time, they weaken and strengthen, and all of these things uh, change, change and interact with the atmosphere, and that can directly affect uh, the weather and the climate of Europe. I think the favourite thing I do here, or the thing I really love about being an oceanographer, is going to sea, you know, and, and making those measurements in the deep ocean, because when you make a measurement, it's the first time it's been done there at that time. So you never quite know what's going to happen. And you can pull the bigger picture together about how, how the oceans are changing uh, and how it is, as I said, in interacting with the atmosphere and what the end effects will have. And, and NOC, being here at NOC has given me the opportunity to go on these, on these expeditions. And I've actually lost count of the number of expeditions I've been on. but. We're probably looking towards sort of two years of my life now, being at, being at sea on expeditions. And this has been in the North Atlantic, South Atlantic, Southern Ocean and Indian Oceans as well. So one of the real benefits of working uh, at the NOC is, is really working with other people from other institutes and other countries, be it in, be it in Europe, uh, America or, or even worldwide to really come together to answer these really big important questions about how our ocean, how our climate is changing and how our oceans uh, uh, are really changing with that climate.